Welcome back guys to another video. In this video we are going to add some more pickable items to our inventory. So, let's begin. I'm gonna go to my inventory system folder, pickups, and I'm just going to duplicate this uh, pickup stone with Control W, and I'm gonna call this pickup log. And I'm gonna go to view of port first. I'm gonna select my static mesh component, change this static mesh to log. Here we have our log, it's a big one. So we need to also change the size of our box collision. Like so, like so, there we go. I'm gonna move this up a bit. So let's make these values nicer. 120, 420, 115, there we go. I'm gonna select my item data and I'm gonna change the data from stone to log description. Nice looking log. <laughs> Type is going to be wood, amount zero, uh, value zero, amount one, and they are going to be stackable as well. So now I'm gonna go to the event graph and here actually we don't need to change anything that's all that we need needed to do this is good enough and 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 I think I think that's already nice enough so I'm gonna add my log one two three four there we go plus play and they are hanging in the air but we can pick them up and we have four logs and now we also have four stones so but I don't like the fact that they are hanging in the air so what I'm gonna do I'm going to add I'm gonna click on my static mesh component and I'm gonna add physics I'm gonna change the weight to 5000 kilograms compile and save press play boom my logs are falling down great now I like this way better so let's add some more items I'm gonna call this pickup carrot and we also need one more for our pickup stick I'm gonna begin with the stick so I'm gonna select my component static mesh I'm gonna make this into a stick there we go change box uh, change box to like 80 oh no that's the wrong one back to 60 this is going to be 120 mm, 150 yeah there we go item data st stick this spokes <laughs> type is going to be wood amount one and it is going to be stackable so that's good now to carrot Static mesh, carrot, here we have a carrot, and dun 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 dun. move our box up a little bit, make this bigger just a little bit in the z-axis, item data, carrot, description we can eat this, and type is going to be food. And the value depending on the whether you want to restore health or hunger this is going to be the amount we are going to restore so I'm gonna make this 20 compile and save and now uh, actually I could simulate physics for this one as well and for our stick as well I forgot to do that and I believe our rock also doesn't have physics then in that case yes exactly so we're going to simulate physics for that one as well now we can drag in our items let's make a couple of sticks over here like so let's put in some more and some more and some more let's add a couple of carrots over here there we go there we go there we go there we go here we go, press play, boom, here are carrots, puk, puk, puk. sticks, logs, stones. 
press I, here we have a carrot, stick, log, stone. Awesome. Now we should eat some carrots. But to do that I need to create a health system, which is going to be super simple for now. I'm gonna open up my third person character, add a new variable called health, which is going to be a float. And also I'm gonna add another variable, which is going to be a max health. So here we have two variables, I'm gonna compile and save. Max health I'm gonna set to a hundred. Current health I'm gonna set to 15. Compile and save. And also I have my HUD, but I don't have it displayed by uh, default. So I'm gonna do a begin play event. And on this begin play event, I'm going to do a clear HUD event so that once we start playing we would create my health bar so I press play and I have my health bar on the left top corner and now I'm gonna go to my UI my UI HUD here I have my health bar I'm gonna select it and here where we have the progress percent the, here is a button called bind and I'm gonna create a binding and here I'm gonna cast to third person character and object is going to be a get player get player get owning player get owning player there we go and I'm gonna get health as third person character and I'm also going to get max health and what we need to do is we need to divide our health so float divided by float so health divided by max health and this goes into our return value we can compile and save and we have an error third person character does not inherit from from player controller get owning player third person character object get owning player this widget get owning player why is this so get player get owning player pawn Oh yeah, I made a mistake. So we need a get owning player pawn. Sorry, sorry for that mistake. And that should be it. So if we press play, you can see my health is really, really low right now. And I can't eat my carrot. Can't eat my carrot. So I'm gonna go to my UI item info, where I have my button. I'm gonna go to graph. And now I will select my button item button and I'm gonna add on click event on hovered event and on on hovered event and I'm gonna begin with on hovered event I'm gonna get my item data I'm gonna break its result and I'm going to do a switch on string so switch on string and depending on the selection we are going to choose a different route uh, add a different text so I'm gonna drag this into type type uh, into selection I mean and I'm gonna select my switch I'm going to add a array element adds element and I'm gonna call the first element food I will add more elements to this later but now we're only going to work with the carrot so if the type is food, I will drag in my text name. We're going to get this. And we are going to set this text, set text, like so. I will move this over here. And I'm just simply going to type in click to use, like so. There we go. And on unhovered, I'm gonna do a similar thing I'm gonna copy these three nodes so that we wouldn't launch this uh, thing every single time but only in the specific situations that we need it to so if the type was food of the item that we hovered it changed its name to click to use but if we unhover this food then I want to cast to third person character object get owning player pawn like so and I want to do a 
clear hot event and then I want to create inventory UI again so that we would reset all the values back like they were and I need to connect this forgot to connect this like so there we go create UI and let's test this out if we press play press I well first we need to pick up a character carrot of course so press I if you go on a stick nothing happens go on a carrot click to use and it changes back to normal as well great so now we click but we can't use it <laughs> so let's make a functionality for it to be usable so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna go to my third person character first and I'm going to add a function to this because I could do this here as well but in case I want to use this same functionality in a different place uh, I need a function over here so that I could actually reuse it so I'm gonna call this function restore health and this is going to have an input I'm gonna call this amount and amount type is going to be a float and now I'm gonna drag in my health because I need my health so I'm gonna do amount plus float plus float amount plus health and I'm gonna set my health I'm gonna set my health to this like so and I'm gonna check if this health is bigger than my max health so I'm gonna do a if because if my health has exceeded my max health I want my health to be set to the same value as my max health and not higher so if this is true I'm gonna set my health to max health like so so now we can compile and save I think that should be it for this function so now we can go back to our UI item info now we can work on our on click event I'm gonna go down to this unhovered and I'm going to copy these nodes right here and I'm gonna, I'm gonna paste these here on click event there we go and if the clicked item type is food then as third person character I'm going to restore health like so I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna drag the value to the amount and I can collapse this like so on clicked there we go compile save press play pick up a carrot type I click I and on click you can see that we have restored our health but we do not lose any carrots so we need a new function in our third person character which is going to remove items from the inventory so new function and it's going to be remove item like so I'm gonna add an input which is going to be a item data the type is going to be s inventory I'm gonna add a new parameter of item amount which is going to be an integer like so and if we want to remove an item we first need to check if we have it so I'm going to search for an item for this item data and then from here I'm gonna check if we have found it and if we have found it then I'm gonna check if item amount I'm gonna drag from the item amount is bigger or equal to found amount so I'm gonna do another if there we go then we can drag from our item amount the uh, found amount I mean and we can do a minus integer so found amount minus the item amount so we are going to remove our item amount from the ones that we already have and here what we can do is we can check if this is equal to zero 
and then we can do a if and if this is equal to zero that means that we exceeded all of our items and we can drag in our inventory and simply do a remove item and we are going to remove our item like so next if this is if this is false if we have more than zero items then what we need to do is we need to set ri element we need to use the target ri as our inventory index we need to use our item index from our search item function and for the item we need to make the structure then we need to drag from our item data break the structure and I'm gonna connect the item description type value and is stackable and for the amount I'm going to put in this amount where we have divide uh, removed items from the found amount so here is our new amount and I'm gonna connect this over here here then we can do a return node from our removed or from our set array element uh, so I'm gonna do a return node connect these two and we need to add a output and this output is going to be a return value which is going to be an boolean and this needs to be set to true like so and here we have a couple of falses so here we can do another return node and this one as well like so and we need to leave this to false and I think this should work maybe I missed something I don't know because sometimes on the fly things don't work out the way we want them to so let's test this out let's go to our item info here where we restore our health we can drag this back a little I'm gonna drag from my third person character and type remove item like so connect this connect this connect our item data to well I'm gonna drag in a new node item data and item amount is going to be one because we are going to eat one carrot at a time then I'm gonna do a if check if we successfully have removed an item and if we have then we are restoring the health and once this is done then we need to copy these two nodes we need to clear the HUD and we need to create a inventory again so that we uh, so that our amounts would restore uh, reset I don't know how to call it precisely but yeah so that we would see the new values of uh, this the specific item so I'm gonna compile and save this press play pick up a few carrots press I so five four three two one and we ate all of our carrots and that's going to be it for this video and in the next video we are going to implement uh, the cost for our buildables so we, we are going back a little to our build mode we are finishing off with the prices and I'm going to use logs as a price for my buildables and uh, see you guys in the next video